a huge round of applause, a big warm welcome for Musicians in Exile. This group embodies music's ability to bring people together. Each member is from a different country, a different culture, and the only language that connects them is music. It was really a project to give folk their instruments back, let them sing what they sang back at home, and to create a special music group that really uh, allowed folk to come together and recover who they were. Musicians in Exile began in Glasgow five years ago in the Govan area, the most culturally diverse part of the city. Susie and her family fled El Salvador four years ago, feeding for their lives from gangs. Susie said she was nervous to sing at first, but now she takes centre stage. When I come into this country, I was very, very sad. I had to lose my country. But when I come in here uh, to the group, I feel uh, confident, happy. When I start to sing, I, I feel very, very good because I think for mental health is very good. And her son, Gerardo, loves playing the guitar. Music, you know, music is kind of universal languages. You don't really speak, need to speak the other language. So it was fine to find some people with the similar interests in where you can share music and learn from them, you, they learn from you. The selection of music is multicultural. We Believe in You is Congolese, a special song from Sylvian's home. So whenever I interpret this song, it gives me joy. And when there is a feedback from the one you love, and you say, I believe in you, that is the most important thing. So it, yeah, it gives me strength. Some in the group have fled wars in Ukraine and Iran. They are trying to make Glasgow their new home, but it's a tough process, often separated from their families. This group is trying to make the integration a little easier. The music in itself is very powerful at helping people to mourn the losses of leaving their home behind. Their end of year concert to celebrate the holidays shows how different musical languages can create one ensemble. Louise Scott, ITV News, Glasgow.